Hi, this is Gali Gopharm and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel in abundance because today our quote of the day is all about creating wealth through a great mindset and the quote goes like this. You can serve God and man in no more effective way than by getting rich. That is, if you get rich by the creative method and not by the competitive one, by Wallace D. Waddles. As I mentioned in yesterday's video about creating a passive income, I have become very rich with time and I can say that I owe my riches not only to the action steps that I took with my real estate and other businesses, but definitely also to the change of mindset that preceded my actions to a mindset that supports abundance. My abundance mindset was formed through the reading and learning and unwavering faith and practice of me, from, that I learned from many books that speak of the mindset of getting rich, especially the books by Wallace, Wallace D. Waddles, Napoleon Hill, Joseph Campbell, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Charles Hennel. These have changed my life and allowed me to become rich. And these will, and what I will help you here today in this video, I will talk about what I learned from these books and how this changed my life in a relative, relatively short period of time and how this can do the same for you. I have prepared this into a 10 step system that if that I personally followed and if you follow these 10 steps, then wealth will come to you just as it did for me. Now you may use these 10 steps for achieving any of your goals that you have in your life from the smallest to the largest goals. These steps will work for all of them. You can use them for achieving health, or with the relationship that you desire, for achieving any of your goals and desires, as well as for achieving wealth. So let's get into them. The first step towards getting rich or any other goal that you desire is to understand that you should get rich. Many people do not believe this and think that wealth may be evil or can only be attained in ways that are not moral. So the first step towards creating wealth is understanding that it is your duty to create wealth. You must become rich in order to fulfill your true purpose and also to give as much as you can back to mankind and to the world. All of my life, I've had to, the will to, to do good and to help people. I think that this is what moved so many people into my life that needed me to care for them. People who lived far away from me suddenly moved closer to me when they needed my care. Uh, also, especially people from my family. For example, my mother who lived in Mongolia came to live near me when she became ill. Also, my grandfather, who was living in Germany, came to live near me when he became ill. My, my brothers moved back from the United States uh, when they needed help. And my sister also needed me when she was young. And also I have my two special needs daughters who need constant care. I was always available for everybody, putting my life on hold. I thought that this is what was the right thing to do. Until I understood that it was in fact my duty, as well as it is yours, to become rich. Now you can do all those things as well. You can do everything, but you also must uh, put the effort into becoming rich. There is no other way to fulfill your full purpose purpose and to have the most influence in the world if you are not rich. It is your duty just as it is everyone's duty to become rich. There is enough for everyone to become rich in this world. Your duty is to study how to get rich and to do whatever needs to be done to become rich. If you are using the step towards creating something else in your life, then, then know that you deserve whatever it is that you want and it is your duty to have it so, you do you, so that you can spread more light in this world. The second step towards becoming rich is to have the faith in the process. There is a precise process that will make you rich and you must have faith in this process and to follow it strictly. In fact, this process is talked about extensively also in the Old Testament and also in the New Testament. The process calls upon the use of your imagination and I will now simplify this process for you. The process begins with knowing that there is a field of energy that fills all of the interspaces of the universe. This energy field is found everywhere, and from this energy field, all things are created. 
This energy field picks up thoughts and helps form them into matter. To put simply, this energy field picks up your thoughts and has the force to make them real in your life. Now, this may sound funny coming from a, a scientist, but I truly and I, through my experience know this to be true. And many other people have used this system as well, and it has been true to them. So this energy field has the power to pick up your thoughts and has the force to make them real in your life. Since you can decide to form things in your mind through your thoughts, you should choose only the thoughts of what you want to have in your life and then release these thoughts into the energy field that is everywhere in the universe and you can choose your thoughts and let this energy field bring them into creation. Your thoughts must be creative in nature and not competitive in any way. This energy field will not take from one person to give it to another. It will give you what you create in your mind without having any reference to anybody else. You must have creative thoughts that are independent of other people. So the third step is to understand that this process will only work if you hold a clear and definite mental image of the things that you desire. Therefore, you must know exactly what it is that you want. You must have a clear mental image of what you want to have. And for most people, this image is not at all clear, and this is their major problem. This is practically the most difficult step because you have to know exactly what it is you want. And most of the time, we don't see from our small space of where we are right now what are the possibilities that are open to us. So you must know where you are going and have a clear picture of what you want to have in your life. And I spoke about this in a video about writing your goals on paper. Goals must be definite and clear so that you will not confuse the energy field by sending different and often contradicting messages every day. This is why many people will fail. The fourth step is to persistently hold this mental image of what you desire in your mind as often as you can. Hold the vision of what you desire while driving, while eating, before getting out of bed in the morning and before falling asleep at night. Every morning, every moment that you have free, contemplate on your vision of your desires and how you will feel once you have them in your life. Now, this should not be so difficult, uh, holding this mental image of what you desire in your mind, since this is what you desire to have. So it's actually quite fun thinking of the things that you desire to have. It should come naturally for you uh, to think of what you desire, even in an obsessive way. I have made a video on making your goals an obsession, which will come very handy for this step. So the fifth step uh, is to ensure that you are holding in your mind whatever it is that you do want and not what you don't want to have. There will always be negative thoughts that creep into your mind, but you must control them. Know that there is only room for one thought in your mind at a time. So if you have a negative thought creeping up, notice it, become aware of it, and simply replace it with what you do want to have in your life. It is very common that thoughts of what we want easily enter our mind, but then we start to rationalize and overthink them, and suddenly we find ourselves in a downward spiral of negative thoughts and what ifs. Uh, what if this would happen? What if that could happen? And then we, we start in thinking negatively about what we desire and not of what we really want to have happen. Now, these must be stopped immediately so that the negative visions will not be impressed on the creative energy field and become created for you. So stop all doubt and all cert uncertainty in your path and place good thoughts instead of any negative thoughts that creep up. So the sixth step towards creating wealth and riches is to maintain a mindset of gratitude. You will get what you desire depending on the depth of the gratitude that you have. You can impress your thoughts on the energy field through gratitude that you already have them. Hold a mindset of gratitude for abundance in your life and that this abundance is always available for you. You can uh, see my video on gratitude to help you get into the gratitude mindset fast. You should persist in holding your ideal mental image while feeling deep, grateful, 
feelings that all of your desires will be granted for you. Now, the seventh step is to have patience. In our era, things are not created from thin air. Perhaps they were in the past, perhaps they will be in the future, but now, uh, <laughs> now they are not created from thin air. There is a natural process of creation. Just as a seed does not become a full-grown tree with fruits after one year, all things have their natural process and growth and development. Things take time and must follow the natural growth pattern and order of things. And in this growth period, you must keep your faith in the process high, no matter how much time it takes. Things need time to blossom and to develop, and things will change towards what you desire to have. If you keep your faith high and you keep your gratitude of knowing that you will get it, know that things are being created following your thoughts, even if you still do, do not physically see this change. Just as it takes time for a sprout to come through the ground and be seen on the surface, if it is not seen yet, this does not mean that it is not growing underneath the surface. It is, and the same goes with your thoughts. They are creative and will bring about that which you focus your thoughts on most. Thoughts are the creative power of the universe. Maintain your faith in the process and persist with patience. You must know that with total certainty that you will succeed with time. Don't ever let what's real now discourage you from believing and creating a vision in your mind of what could be and what you would like to have in your life. The eighth step is to fully use your days for action. Do more than you previously did. Do more from the place that you are currently at right now. Every single day, you need to do all that you can do in that day. Many people skip this step. They keep a persistent thought of where they desire to be, and the thought is being created underneath the surface and being brought to fruition in this energy field. But the person cannot have access to it if they do not take the right actions to get it. There is a joke about a man who prayed to win the lottery every day of his adult life. He prayed and he prayed and he prayed. He planned exactly what he would do with the money once he, the moment he won. And he saw everything just as it would be after he had won. But he never won the lottery. And then he died and came to heaven and asked, I prayed so much to win the lottery. Why did you not grant me this one wish even once in my lifetime? And the reply was, I would have gladly granted your wish had you just filled out a lottery ticket even once in your life. So although things will be created for you after you've impressed your thoughts onto the creative energy field, and they will be waiting for you to grab them and to bring them into your reality, you will only get them when you take the right actions in the direction of your vision. This is the only way you can have access to them. The ninth step is cre towards creating wealth and riches is to give away a use value of what you are selling that is larger than the cash value that you get in return. Now, people will buy from you only when they believe that they are getting more than they are paying for. This brings abundance into your life and into the lives of others. Everyone is achieving uh, abundance and everyone is getting more life than they had before. So when your thoughts bring more progress and life for you and for others, then everyone wins. And this step, of course, can be followed for every goal that you wish to attain. You can only have the riches when your creation brings more life for you and for others at the same time. So the 10th step towards becoming rich is to choose your steps towards the realization of your goals with your intuition. Follow your intuition. I will get into this in another video. But in order to know the next action steps that you need to take every day, you must listen to your intuition, which you are getting from infinite intelligence that it comes to you from the creative energy field that surrounds you. So when you connect to this infinite intelligence found everywhere around you in the creative energy field, then you can draw ideas from it and understand the next best steps for you to take. Anybody can succeed at attaining wealth and riches from wherever they are right now, currently in their life. 
you must use your imagination to see what it is that you desire. And you can start doing this from this moment. Follow these 10 steps laid out for you and you will get all the riches and abundance in any field of life exactly as you envision, envision them when you uh, do what needs to be done persistently and with faith and with gratitude. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question or two questions today that you uh, want to ask yourself so that the answers will help move you in the right direction for you and for your life goals. So the questions are, what are my precise goals for wealth? What are the precise goals? You remember it needs to be precise and definite. You have to see the clear picture. And the next question is, what can I do today and this week and this month to steadily move me towards my goals? So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, I release all resistance to attracting money, so I always have more than enough money in my life. I release all resistance to attracting money, so I always have more than enough money in my life. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you found this video valuable and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also um, subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help move your life and health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Oh, 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 oh,